Elon Musk envisions a future where the Tesla bot, known as Optimus, becomes a helpful part of our everyday lives. But despite the ambition, there are still major technical hurdles to overcome. Right now, Optimus has a response time between 200 and 500 milliseconds, and only around 10,000 prototype units have been produced. So, how will Tesla address these challenges and make Optimus run more smoothly? Before we dive in, we'd love your support. Help us reach 8,000 subscribers. It means a lot and motivates us to keep bringing you great content on the Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest tech updates. One of the biggest obstacles Optimus faces is its AI brain. Even though it uses Tesla's advanced full self-driving, FSD chip, operating a humanoid robot is a completely different task compared to navigating a car. While autonomous vehicles mostly deal with flat roads and rely on cameras and sensors to drive, a humanoid robot has to operate in a far more complex and unpredictable three-dimensional world. Everything from uneven floors and slippery surfaces to changes in lighting and unexpected human interactions can throw off a robot. As of now, Optimus is mostly trained in controlled, simulated environments, mainly Tesla's own factories, where everything is relatively stable but once it steps outside that comfort zone, its reflexes suffer. A small bump, a slanted floor, or a sudden obstacle can easily make it stumble. That reaction time, between 200 to 500 milliseconds, might not sound like much, but it's slow enough to miss a critical movement and fall over. While Tesla's FSD chip is powerful for object recognition and navigation on flat surfaces, humanoid robots need something more. They require real-time control of body movements, joint angles, balance, and external forces, all incredibly complex tasks that demand specialized hardware. The robot must constantly process sensor data, solve complex equations, and make instant decisions. Tesla's FSD chip excels in vision-based AI, but wasn't designed specifically for the fast and fluid motion needed in robotics. That's why Tesla is now working on expanding Optimus's real-world learning by deploying more bots inside factories where they can operate in live environments. This new training strategy focuses on gathering real-world data rather than just relying on computer simulations. But it's not a quick fix. It will take time, countless trials, and plenty of failures. Just like humans, AI has to fall, learn, and try again to improve. If AI is the robot's brain, data is its lifeblood. Without a wide range of real-world experiences, Optimus will continue to struggle in unfamiliar situations. Tesla has the edge in terms of hardware and manufacturing, but turning Optimus into a reliable household helper will require major breakthroughs in AI training and robotics hardware. The future of robotics isn't just about raw computing power. It's about being adaptable, fast, and capable of handling the unpredictable nature of human environments. And for Tesla, this is just the beginning of a long journey. If successful, Optimus might not be perfect, but it could become a valuable part of our daily lives, learning and growing just like we do. One crucial area still being developed is context. Humans don't just react to visual input. We interpret meaning. We know a hand wave means, hello, not get out of the way. We decide whether to catch or dodge a ball based on the situation. For a robot, understanding these kinds of human nuances is incredibly complex. It must learn not only to see, but to understand intentions, anticipate what might happen next, and respond appropriately. That's the challenge Optimus is currently working on, understanding human behavior and how we live. Unlike industrial robots that simply repeat the same task, a humanoid robot needs the ability to handle delicate, flexible actions with incredible precision. Whether it's holding a fragile object, climbing stairs, or dodging something unexpected, every move must be accurate to the millimeter. What might look like simple tasks, holding an object, walking, or reacting to a push, actually present massive challenges in robotics. These actions involve layers of control algorithms, force sensors, system delays, and constant decision-making. One small mistake could mean losing balance, dropping something fragile, or even posing a danger to nearby people. Tesla understands this and is actively working on a solution, allowing Optimus to gain real-world experience. 
Instead of relying solely on simulations, the robot is being tested in actual environments, encouraged to try real tasks, make real mistakes, and learn from them. This hands-on learning process is essential for true progress. But this kind of evolution doesn't rely on software alone. The hardware must be just as adaptable. The robot's arms need to sense pressure. Its knees must detect ground contact. Every component has to work together, almost like a living organism. This goes beyond a purely technical effort. It's a blend of technology, biology, and machine learning. Even with its current limitations, Optimus has a major advantage. It's being developed entirely within Tesla's ecosystem. That means the AI, hardware, data, and manufacturing are all deeply connected. Once its AI becomes smart enough to learn from millions of real-world interactions, and its hardware becomes nimble enough to respond to subtle movements, that's when Optimus will truly be ready to function in our world. So maybe the question shouldn't be, when will robots be perfect? A better question might be, can robots learn like we do? By trying, failing, and improving? If the answer is yes, then Optimus is headed in the right direction. It just needs time, experience, and a bit more patience from us. Let's talk about the brain behind Optimus. Tesla's full self-driving FSD chip. With processing power up to 144 trillion operations per second, it's an impressive feat of engineering, designed to help cars understand lane markings, read traffic signals, and navigate roads. But is this chip really right for a humanoid robot? A car travels over relatively predictable terrain, it mostly deals with flat roads and objects moving in straightforward ways. A robot, on the other hand, moves through a dynamic world full of surprises. It needs lightning-fast reflexes to adapt on the fly. Can a chip built to analyze street data also handle a storm of information from cameras, gyroscopes, force sensors, microphones, and joint position monitors, all simultaneously, with no delay or error? Because in robotics, even a slight delay of a few hundred milliseconds could cause the robot to fall or react incorrectly to a human. Imagine a child suddenly running toward Optimus from the side. The robot must react instantly, without being specifically programmed for that exact situation. The reality is that the FSD chip wasn't made for these types of motion calculations. Robots require complex kinematic computations, like coordinating joints, adjusting torque, and maintaining balance on uneven surfaces. Picture Optimus walking with an object in its hands, and the floor slightly tilts beneath its feet. Without precise and fast reflexes, the robot could lose its balance. This is about more than just performance. It's also about energy efficiency. The kind of intense computations needed, solving rotation matrices, calculating inverse forces, and adjusting movement paths in real time, can drain a lot of power. If the chip isn't optimized for these tasks, the robot won't last long before needing a recharge. And then there's the software side. Tesla can't simply reuse the same code from its cars. The algorithms must be redesigned to handle complex 3D movements. On top of that, Optimus needs to learn from real-world environments, not just perfectly lit factory floors. It must be able to navigate messy, unpredictable homes, deal with slippery wooden floors, and react appropriately when kids are running around. That's the crossroads Tesla is currently facing. They can keep refining their current tech or take the leap into building an entirely new hardware platform, one specifically designed for humanoid robotics. If Optimus is going to function safely and effectively in the real world, a custom chip built for fast, real-time motion and reflex processing isn't just helpful, it's essential. So, what's your take? Will Tesla go back to the drawing board and develop a custom chip specifically for robotics? Or will they continue refining the current full self-driving FSD chip to save on time and development costs? In this race toward creating a useful humanoid robot, does moving fast matter more than building a solid foundation? What will truly determine if Optimus can become a genuine companion in our everyday lives? There's no clear answer yet. But one thing is certain, if a robot is ever to understand, adapt, and respond like a human, the path forward won't be easy. And that's exactly what makes the journey so exciting and worth the wait. Sensors and cameras. 
Currently, the Tesla bot uses a basic sensor system that includes cameras, sensors on its hands and feet, along with accelerometers, gyroscopes, and inertial measurement units, IMUs. While this setup allows for basic navigation and interaction, it still falls short in terms of precision and sensitivity, both of which are critical for functioning effectively in real-world environments. Take the cameras, for example. Tesla mainly relies on standard visual sensors. These lack the resolution and low-light performance needed for tasks like identifying small objects or navigating dimly lit rooms. This leads to recognition errors and slower reactions, clearly not ideal for tasks that require quick, reliable decision-making. In contrast, companies like Boston Dynamics use depth cameras that can build detailed 3D spatial maps with precision down to 1 to 2 centimeters. This gives their robots 30% to 50% better accuracy in identifying objects and understanding their surroundings, even in complex or cluttered environments. As for the IMUs on Tesla Bot, they currently experience a processing delay of about 30 milliseconds. That might not sound like much, but in a humanoid robot, where balance and rapid response are essential, that delay can lead to instability or wobbling, especially on uneven ground or when reacting to unexpected contact. Boston Dynamics, for comparison, uses IMUS with less than 10 milliseconds of latency, along with sophisticated signal processing. This lets their Atlas robot react up to three times faster than the Tesla bot when balance is disrupted. Force sensors and precision. Handling Tesla's current force sensors, located in the robot's hands and feet, are another area with room for improvement. Compared to those used by leaders in robotic manipulation, like Robotic or Shadow Robot, Tesla's sensors are less sensitive and less accurate. This makes it difficult for Optimus to handle delicate tasks, such as gently holding fragile items or safely interacting with humans. For context, high-precision force sensors used in top-tier robotic hands can detect force changes with a sensitivity of plus or minus 0.1 newtons. Tesla Bot's sensors operate around plus or minus 0.5 newtons, which may seem close, but in robotics, that difference significantly impacts the ability to perform precise and gentle movements. Meanwhile, figure AIY takes a different approach by integrating multiple advanced sensors, including three stereo cameras on the chest, a head-mounted camera, and highly sensitive proximity sensors around the waist. This sensor suite enables Figure's robot to detect and respond to obstacles in 3D space quickly and accurately. It can react to moving objects in under 50 milliseconds, whereas Tesla Bot's reactions can still exceed 100 milliseconds. What this means for Tesla Bot Tesla's current reliance on standard cameras and lower-end force sensors limits not just performance, but also safety. These shortcomings reduce the robot's ability to function smoothly in unpredictable environments, especially where fragile objects or human interactions are involved, both of which are crucial in industries like logistics, healthcare, and home assistance. For Optimus to live up to its potential, Tesla must significantly upgrade its sensor technology. This includes integrating advanced tools like LiDAR, or high-precision depth cameras, and enhancing the force sensors and IMUs to be faster and more sensitive. With these upgrades, the robot would be able to perform complex tasks more reliably, such as picking up small or delicate items, walking across uneven terrain, and reacting quickly to unexpected situations. In short, it would move closer to being a safe, responsive, and genuinely helpful robotic assistant in real-world environments. Motors are a crucial component of the Tesla bot, playing a central role in both movement and task execution. Elon Musk has highlighted the importance of a compact motor design with high torque, aiming to keep the robot lightweight and agile. However, real-world testing has shown that Optimus faces significant issues with overheating. After just 10 minutes of continuous activity, the motors can heat up to temperatures between 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. This overheating doesn't just reduce performance, it impacts the motor's long-term durability and stability. As a result, the robot is often forced to reduce its power output to prevent damage, which is a serious limitation for a machine designed to operate reliably and consistently in various environments. Another area of concern is Optimus's relatively slow response speed and acceleration. In demonstration videos, its joints rotate at around 30 degrees per second, 
less than half the speed of Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot. Atlas uses larger motors and advanced control systems, allowing it to move much faster and more fluidly. Optimus's slower movements and quick motor overheating mean it struggles with complex or rapid actions, which are essential for performing humanoid tasks effectively. These issues highlight the need for better thermal management and more refined motor control. Boston Dynamics offers a clear example of how these challenges can be addressed. Their Atlas robot features an active cooling system, complete with fans and heat sinks, that effectively keeps motor temperatures in check, even during demanding operations. This setup not only prevents overheating, but also helps the robot maintain peak performance over extended periods. On top of that, Atlas uses advanced force control algorithms to precisely distribute torque across its joints. This results in smoother, faster, and more stable movements, key factors in maintaining their leadership in humanoid robotics. We hope this gave you a deeper look into the technical hurdles Tesla is working to overcome with Optimus. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the Next Gen Theories family. Tap the bell icon so you don't miss out on future episodes. We truly appreciate your time, feedback, and support. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and have fun.